Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd of the Rudd's Home Farm, and today we're going to be talking about what type of hydroponic system advanced hydroponic growers prefer to use. I've tried several of them, uh, at least four, and uh, we'll go ahead and go over the ones that I've done and tried, and we'll see what the pros and cons are, and we'll just kind of just check what I got going. And uh, thanks for watching, and if you like it, subscribe, and check out my other videos, and we'll go ahead and get started. So I recently upgraded my uh, grow tray system from a crack key system to a NFT system. Uh, you can see the water flowing through here into the reservoir and then back up through the tubes at the back. This right here is tomato. You got kale on the right. You got lettuce in the middle and you got herbs, cilantro and basil all the way on the right. So I've just been experimenting with this type. Um, NFT, I really like it because of how many plants you could grow in one place. This is my preferred method for seedlings. So pretty much you just start your seeds. I even have a second row all fed off of the same system where I'm germinating plants here, right? And you can see all the way at the back, I'm not sure if you can see, I won't zoom, but at the back, it sprays water in and then it comes all the way in through here, drops into this tray, and then goes back into the reservoir. So you could actually have multiple layer NFT system, which I'm pretty proud of. So NFT, I really prefer this one. This is probably one of my favorites. Let's move on to DWC, Deep Water Culture uh, slash Crack Key. So here's, here's where I begin to run into problems. This is a lettuce plant. This is supposed to be like a Crack Key DWC hybrid, whereas you know DWC where it uses like a raft that stays on, that floats down with the water to make sure all the roots have constant contact. Whereas the this is stationary, and it's fed also fed by a bubbler. You can see it bubbling, but here is a problem. You see this lettuce. This lettuce was planted at the same time this was. The water's been changed out similar amount of times. And you can see how unhealthy these look, even with the air bubbler. And you can see how vibrant and happy this ones are in the NFT system. Even to further explain, you can see the roots. Now there are some issues with the NFT system. You can see a tiny bit of blackening roots, a tiny bit of root rot but uh, I change out the water enough that where I can just keep growing more roots. And then this one, the roots haven't even come out yet. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but same age. What's the difference? Here's the second one. Uh, I got one little root coming out. So the, the, the flowing type of systems are far superior. So you have to change out, you have to change out the water a lot less. It's like the, the biggest problem I've been running into is root rot. Root rot is just like the biggest issue in hydroponics. It's just such a battle to keep the roots healthy because they're just sitting in water. And if they're sitting in stagnant water, even with a little bit of bubbling going on, that's not enough to keep stunted growth from happening. And you see over here, is this the roots are just way, way bigger, much more. This is two different varieties. So, oh, it's a difference of variety. You got one variety here. I think this one is, uh, I forget the varieties. You know, I'm, I should have labeled them, but I, I'm not. I did it. But you got four plants here of one variety, and then four plants here of another variety. And then I did four of butter crunch lettuce. So they also look about similar, and they're not. So, that's, those are those two. Now let's go over to my aeroponic system. This is the kale that I've been growing. This is by far the best of all because the roots are almost always constantly healthy. You can kind of see, looks like there's a little bit of root rot, but these plants have recovered from root rot and have grown since grown to humongous scale. You can see here, and you can see the nozzles, they're just spraying water onto them. This one's a better example, a lot less root rot. And it could just be the coloring of the, the water. 
This one. And you can see just the amount of healthy root. The plant is healthy. The kale is delicious. And so I highly recommend aeroponics is like, look at that, look at that beauty. I don't want to do that too much. I'm spraying water out. And both of these systems, the NFT system and my aeroponic system are both fed from this amount of water. Did you imagine my DWC having to keep making containers of, of liquid? Each of those plants, I did that. One major problem I have with DWC is the amount of water that you constantly have to dump down the drain. It's like you have to change out the water more frequently because of the stagnant water nature. It's not flowing. You know, root rot bacteria loves the stagnant, warm water. But if you have a flowing type system that does, it, it will eventually get to the roots, but it slows it down significantly, like humongous. And the amount of water that you go through is a lot less than Crack Key, DWC. Each, each plant needs their own container of water. But with flowing type systems, you can have even multiple systems. You can have an aeroponic and an NFT system connected to the same reservoir. And that reservoir doesn't have to be that big because all the water that it needs is just needs to be in the piping and in the system. And then it's just a continually flowing system. So there's only like two or three gallons, like five gallons worth of liquid solution that fed both those aeroponic and the NFT system. So short answer is that flow types are far superior than NFT and DWC when it comes to serious hydroponic growers. You just have to deal with a lot less issues. And with, when you just get your carpentry skill on and make yourself a DWC version, if you like what I, the system that I make, uh, I have all the parts and equipment on my website. There should be a link below. Check that out. It's, it's fairly simple. I'll do tutorials on what I did and I'll, I'll give you guys in the loop. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.